Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now when Nvidia release a big new graphics card lineup or feature that they want to showcase, they might also treat us to a tech demo. For example, with the RTX cards, we saw things like the Reflections RTX demo, Atomic Heart demo, and the Justice demo. We also got a Final Fantasy DLSS demo months before that feature officially launched. If you go way back though, it seems Nvidia still have these tech demos available to download on their site, and out of no real reason, other than boredom and curiosity, I wanted to see if these still worked on modern cards, and how well they worked. So, after all, these were designed to showcase new hardware and features to push GPUs to their limits, and my GTX 1080 Ti should have no problem in handling them with ease, right? There are also a couple of interesting points to cover, and that ties us into the first tech demo, which isn't actually available from the NVIDIA site. Talk about clickbait. It is available through Guru3D though. This is X-Isle Dinosaur Island, and it's more of a CryEngine showcase. I think it was originally shown off at E3 1999, and although it doesn't look like much today, this was a big deal 20 years ago. Such long draw distances and excellent lighting effects like this hadn't been seen before. This was a huge step forward in bringing virtual worlds to life. So what have NVIDIA got to do with it? Well, Exile was eventually distributed as benchmarking software for the then brand new GeForce 3 series cards. Users could manipulate lighting effects and turn water rippling on and off to get a real sense of what this hardware could do. Not to mention walk with dinosaurs. Ubisoft eventually approached Crytek about turning Dinosaur Island into a full game, which would eventually become 2004's Far Cry. I bet some of you are thinking Ark Survival Evolved, but the time frame is a little off to say the least. This still runs on Windows 10 and modern hardware too, although like most demos today, it does max out at 1600x1200 resolution and for 1999, well, it was revolutionary. The next demo that caught my attention is simply called Grass, and it's certainly not as exciting as Exile, but what I found pretty funny is that I actually saw a few frame dips here. Originally released for the GeForce 256 lineup of cards in June of 2000, this featured up to 10,000 blades of grass and multi-pass clouds. The weather could also be manipulated to see how everything else in game or in demo reacts. Most of the time I spent messing around with it was consumed by figuring out which key on the keyboard did what. 99% of these demos still worked, despite being designed for way older operating systems and hardware. There's not really much to talk about with grass, but seeing how the foliage reacted to the virtual breeze was a pretty big deal two decades ago, and I found it quite fascinating even today. Again, this would have been cutting edge back in the day. Last Chance Gas was a demo that didn't work, which is a shame because it sounded pretty cool, but it doesn't matter because we can still look at another one designed for 2003's FX series cards. Oh wow, yep, yeah, I forgot about Dawn. Well, goodbye adverts. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to blur this just in case. Oh dear. Uh, it's okay, I'll just go without paying my mortgage this month. Nvidia, that's a bit naughty. Right, this is better. A far more family friendly. What on earth is that? Did I did I even need to sleep tonight? All right. This monstrosity is uh, called Timbery or Tim Berry. It doesn't really matter because this individual is just creepy. This tech demo released in 2004 alongside GeForce 6 series graphics cards. This rather odd bloke was designed to demonstrate that current GPUs, current at the time anyway, could handle 32-bit or 16-bit floating point data with ease. I'm not 100% sure on the technicalities or what that really means, but personally I think he demonstrates that even a 26-year-old fully grown adult man can still have nightmares. Why would you make him look like this? I'm sorry to all of you watching as well. I needed some sort of warning before showing this man on screen. Another personal favorite lineup of mine from Nvidia was the 8 series cards. 2007 was a wonderful year for gaming and a brilliant year for PC hardware too with such GPUs as the 8800 GT, GTS and GTX appearing on the market. 
Most people I know who were keen PC gamers back then had an 8 series Nvidia card. One key aspect that Team Green were keen to show off was the advancement of realism for real-time characters. I'm sure you all remember how realistic in-game characters looked 13 years ago, right? Photorealistic, some might say. <laughs> I was waiting for the eyes to open or something and absolutely make me jump out of my chair, but luckily that didn't happen. Human Head would eventually make another appearance in 2013. This was Ira, and this head represented a giant leap forward in capturing and rendering human facial expressions in real time. He gave us a glimpse of what was to come, and honestly, up close, this still looks excellent. Individual pores are visible on the head, and the facial expressions are top notch. This demo was released for the GTX Titan, a card that, while very capable in 2013, does suffer to some extent in 2020 when it comes to modern games. We've tested it before, and I'll admit it does still feel cool to tell people that you own a GTX Titan, even if it isn't the performer that it once was. Alright, so I spoke before about a giant leap forward, and I guess it's only fitting that we feature another one. This is one of my all-time favourites in terms of NVIDIA demos. Okay, maybe second favourite behind Dawn, but uh, yeah, anyway, this is uh, absolutely phenomenal in my opinion, and it still causes my 1080 Ti to drop a few frames here and there. This is the Apollo 11 Lunar Landing demo, and it was released for the 900 series cards back in 2015. It was powered by Epic's Unreal Engine 4 and NVIDIA's Voxel Global Illumination Technology. This demo was refined in 2019 with additional ray tracing features, so it looked even better and ran a whole lot worse. Even here we are dropping into the 40s sometimes as far as the frame rate is concerned. It's a simple tech demo, well in terms of what you can do, but it does let us play around with some lighting effects and camera angles. It's also the perfect program for capturing some really cool desktop wallpapers as well. So uh, yeah, it's certainly given me a good idea for a thumbnail, which I'll apologize in advance for. So I mean, there we have it. Now this video, I say it all the time, but this video really has been something a little bit different. But when I stumbled across NVIDIA's tech demo as well, I just wanted to investigate, see if they still work, check them out, because each of these represents a huge leap forward in terms of graphics card capabilities, and I always find that sort of stuff interesting. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one when we'll be testing out an NVIDIA Tesla graphics card.